PRP or platelet-rich plasma is a type of injection where we draw the patient's own blood. We do this through a peripheral blood draw through the arm typically in clinic. That blood is then taken to a centrifuge machine and spun down. And we are then able to isolate the cells from the blood that provide us the best opportunity to decrease inflammation when we inject that back in. The PRP injection is a regular clinic visit. We're able to do that within our normal office space. You come in for a blood draw initially, but we are able then to spin down and provide and create the PRP injection while you wait. It's typically less than a 20 minute process. And we're then able to complete and do the entire process with the injection included in about 30 minutes. With a PRP injection, our hope is that you're able to gain six to 12 months of relief. There is new and gaining research showing that this is possible. We are comparing it to placebo injections and it has also been compared to the gold standard steroid injections and has been shown to provide longer relief for up to a year. This is not expected to be a complete cure and we may need to repeat it, but they are lasting much longer than some of our other injection options. We can repeat PRP injections as long as they're beneficial. As with any injections that we do, we are doing this in a way to postpone or put off surgery as long as possible. And as long as they're providing relief, we can continue them without any detriment to the knee or other part of the body. One of the concerns with steroid injections is that repeated injections can actually damage cartilage. And this does not have that negative side effect that we see with the steroid or cortisone shots. The side effects and risks associated with PRP injection are low. Anytime we draw blood, there's the risks associated with that. Very, very small risk of infection and local irritation from the blood draw. Otherwise, we have not seen any significant side effects or concerns from either the blood draw or the injection itself.